Hi, Nicole. <laughs> Hi, guys. Great to see you again. And Nicole's right. We're going to do some artwork today. And we're inside for a change because they had forecast rain. So I'm not sure what it's like at your place today, but to my place, it's getting ready to rain. So we're inside to do our artwork today. But we have got brought some things with us. So we've got our journal again, and I'm just going to flip through some of the things that we've already done in our series about biodiversity and pollinators and get us to the page where we're looking at the bees. And I thought today I might do my artwork on this page here. And we're going to be looking at that artwork that Nicole was talking about. And I'll show you here. I've got it. You can see that dotted pixelated picture of a bee's eye view. So today I'm going to be doing a bee's eye view of these purple daisies here. Now I'm using some paints and I get my paints from Aldi. So if you haven't got any paints, you might get those from your local $2 shop. And I'm going to be using, instead of a paintbrush, I'm going to be using a Q-tip. So this is what I'm going to be using to get that dotted effect. On our website, as, met, as Glenn mentioned earlier, there is a black line master that you can download to help you with your drawing. But today I've just drawn my sketch in my nature journal. So I think you can see that there. I'll just move it around a little bit more. And you can see that I've already penciled in the petals of the flower. And I'm going to start with the painting. So I'm using my Q-tip and I've got my paints here. Now, I noticed in the picture that Nicole had shown us that it appears a little bit blurry. So when I get my paint on the Q-tip, I'm going to be dotting. I think this might take me a long time. And I'm using a couple of different purple colours there and dotting to give that impression of the blurred picture. So just as Nicole said, that's how the bees see when they're looking. They don't see a clear outline like we do. Instead, they see all those little, it's almost pixelated, the picture. And it blurs. So they do look for their, their favourite colours. I know Nicole was mentioning last time, or it might have been a few weeks ago now, that I think bees liked the colour purple. It was one of their favourite colours for when they were searching for pollen. So I know that's why we, we um, grow a lot of purple things in our yard. I know my, the bees in our yard like the lavender at the moment. I wonder what sorts of plant, um, plants they're using in your gardens at the moment. So you can see the repetitive dotting gives that, instead of that clear, concise line it gives a bit of a blurred image I think I'm going to label this one as a bee's eye view when I put my labels on it okay and I'll keep going I don't think I'm going to get this finished today but you get the idea remember I'm using a q-tip to do my dots I've used my paint I've made up some colors here you can see I've got a big blob of white with some colors around the outside so that'll give us a bit of a mix. So it looks more like that picture that we had seen. Remember, all of this information is on our website, including a copy of the Black Line Master of the Flowers here, in case you're not confident to draw your own, you can download that one and use that from our website. Um, I think this might take me a lifetime. Maybe I can work on this, Nicole, as you give some more information. I might share it before my next session. I'm going to head back over to you guys. Thanks so much for coming to me.